Alright guys, it's Adam. I'm back with an update on the object tracking um, algorithm that I had written and posted about, I don't know, it was probably a month ago. Finally had a little time to jump back into it. Um, what I've done is implemented a PID controller and hooked that up to a USB servo controller. Um, so essentially the errors that I'm calculating um, in the algorithm as it relates to the object's position versus center I'm sending through a PID controller and then outputting what that spits out to the servo controller um, so obviously the idea behind this PID controller is that it's always trying to bring either the X or Y coordinate errors back to zero um, because we want that object to be focused at the center of the frame. So I've been messing around with the PID uh, gains. You know, I, if you guys have been a part of this community, you know that tuning your PID gains is pretty much, you know, it's it's kind of like the uh, the key to everything, the key to the stability of your system. So there's kind of two factors here. One is how good of a target are we tracking? You know, how clear is it? So how clear is our signal? And then the second is how effectively can we process that signal through the PID controller. Um, so I'm using my DSLR camera on a gimbal. Um, this is the this is the output of the screen. You can see, you know, it, this is my house. So um, the equipment I have here is a capture controller, um, obviously the DSLR on a gimbal, and then there's the USB controller, the servo controller down there. So everything's hooked up. I'm really only demonstrating the Y axis because while I'm holding this camera it's impossible to do the X and the Y. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell this controller to keep an eye on the fan that's on my ceiling. So let's just check my gains here. I want that to be 1. 1, 9 is fine. That's a little too high. Let's see here. And 0.06, I guess we'll try. Oh, actually, we'll try 0.01. So there's a graph below here. You can see um, that is going to be the, the graph that'll show us how our PID loop is functioning. So it kind of gives you a graphical representation of what that loop is doing. So I'm going to start with this thing roughly at center because it's hard for me to hold it with the other hand. Okay, so. I'm going to move my hand over here, and you see that that camera is keeping it centered. You also see the output of that graph is starting to show, you know, the oscillation before it reaches its goal. So I'm going to show you the camera now, because um, that's much more interesting than the screen. So you see as I move my hand, it's finding that fan and keeping it centered. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Um, you see that that stopped. So interesting thing is that if it loses track of the target, it stops outputting to the servo so that your thing doesn't spin out of control. And let me tell you, that's what happened to me. So that's why I put that in there. Um, I actually ended up stripping one of my um, gimbal, you know, gears because of that. Um, the output went kind of nutso because it lost track of the target. Um, so this that's as far as I've gotten so far it's pretty cool I mean I'm having fun with this um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this then the next step is to get this in X and Y coordinates I already know that the X works um, but for me just sitting here you know dinking around with this in my living room it's kinda hard to do both of them because I've got to hold the gimbal and then you know work the computer Ideally, this would just be mounted on some sort of a, 
you know, obviously you guys are going to use this for tracking, you know, maybe antenna tracking or just having an extra virtual friend to film your quad expeditions outdoor, um, outdoors. So I guess um, the next steps for me is just to continue to approve this PID controller and then maybe wrap this up into something that I can get out to you guys to use in the field. Um, I should mention that I'm using 360 degree servos so this is kind of set up for that. Um, you know I plan on making that configurable but as of right now it is not. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys soon.